This is the second semi-final matchup in the Switchboards Golf World Cup. On the left, we have number one seeded Canada, consisting of Clam, aka Hazelnut, who is the 18-hole world record holder and an Infinity-ranked player online, and TYX Gamer 3, who holds, I believe, the 9-hole and 18-hole random seed world record and also is an infinite-ranked player. On the right, we have fourth-seeded India, consisting of Rohan, an infinite 15 player, and Big Baff, who, by the way, he's not Indian, but what happened was the second Indian player dropped out of the tournament in the first stage. Big Baff stepped up, said he would join the team to make sure they could still compete. So huge shout-out to Big Baff. I believe he's S8, and he's a very solid player. I will be commentating this match with my analysis as per usual. Uh, let me just pause here to briefly go over the bracket and the stats. If you want to skip ahead, go ahead. Okay, never mind. Barely finished my intro and we already have a chip and eagle from Rohan in Team India. This hole 1, or sorry, hole 10. And there's a second chip and eagle. I haven't even shown you guys the bracket or the team stats yet. And we've already seen two chip and eagles. Okay, well this is a good place to pause and I'll share the bracket right now. In the round of 16, Canada took care of France 2-0 and India eliminated Hong Kong 2-0 as well. In the quarters, Canada defeated UK 2-1 while India took down Germany 2-1. These two teams actually have the best average score per nine holes in the entire tournament. Canada averaged 20.36 under while India averages 19.92 per nine holes. Rohan actually leads all players in the tournament with an average score per nine holes of minus 10.67. Both Canada players occupy the two and three spots for best average score, while Big Baff sits with a very good average score of minus 9.25. Alrighty, back to the game. So one chip and eagle from uh, Rohan, one from Clam, and then birdies from TYX and Big Baff. So score is tied, Canada minus three, India minus three, moving on to hole 18 here. We have really strong left to right win so you obviously cannot take the uh, shortcut the island on the left but this is also pretty tricky too because you want to get it so you can land on the edge of the fairway so that you can be close enough to drive onto the island with the green so actually it looks like all from what i'm seeing all players have really good shots there because if you're any more back if you let the wind carry you any more to the right you just wouldn't get enough power to make it onto the the island where they're going to be driving here onto the green and you would have to go around to the island on the left and that would put you one stroke behind so very good wind adjustment from all players you can see clam and rohan actually moving to the left quite a lot that's because that part of the island juts out quite a bit as you can see if he had gone any more right the island kind of like indents you can kind of tell there if you want to rewind the video like five seconds to see what i'm talking about go ahead but you can kind of see it right here, where the island goes, like, back. Hopefully that's not just, ram like, rambling and you understand what I'm saying, but... Anyway, both players make it onto the fairway. No one went out of bounds. Nice one. We are seeing Clam putting for birdie here, which he does make that. Rohan's chip is up, and... Ooh, very close. He was actually only a few inches left, but uh, a bit too much power on that. Ooh, big bath. That's a tricky putt. Okay, so that's a birdie from Rohan, and big bath's going to be putting for par here. He was not in a, a very good position there. That He was, like, right on the top end of that this little shelf. Ooh, and almost a micro butt there as well. Jeez. What a start to the game so far. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe that putt that Big Baff was stuck with. You kind of like... If you adjust too much, you're just going to go up the shelf onto the flat. But if you adjust too little, you're just going to be like rolling down way to the right of the hole. But anyway, moving on to 13 here. And by the way, this is a best of three series on a uh, random nine hole course. Nice shot. Rohan is up. You'll actually find he's a very quick golfer. You will uh, find as the game goes on. He went 7-iron there. No backspin. 
pretty good play. You want to just get enough power to clear the bunker on this hole, but not enough power that you roll past. So let's see what Clam does. Pretty quick birdie from Brohan. I wouldn't really expect anything else. Clam is going 5 iron, seemingly. Which is, so the power you see right there, that is what I would expect to get on the 7 iron. That similar power to Rohan got on the 7 iron. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm assuming maybe Clam thought he had selected the 7 iron and just accidentally went the wrong club. It does happen because sometimes you want to club up when you're adjusting on the minimap. Who hits the pin for the birdie chip. But yeah, probably just thought he had 7-iron. That's an unfortunate mistake, though. That's going to put them... Oh, no. That's not good. That's going to be a, a bogey. Wow. Okay. This, this game, we're only three holes in, and we have seen a lot so far. Current scores are 6-5 to five for India. The bogey there is going to put them one stroke behind. India is uh, going to take a one stroke lead, moving on to 8. See that? I don't I don't think that 13 by Clam was like a skill issue. Like he just selected the wrong club. The putt was tricky, though. That was interesting. It's kind of funny. If you've watched nice shot. any of Clam's videos, you don't see him putt very often. Wow, that was a very close chip by, by Rohan. Nice. So Clam's going Spoon here. Spoon on 8, you want just a little bit over 2 dots, as you can see. thing is, you can't go Spin, so you have to get really precise power on the Spoon. So you don't roll too far past. Whereas you saw Rohan, who went Chip with an Iron and with Spin. Both actually were pretty decent approaches. It kind of just depends on your play style and also where the pin is. Do you need back spin? Do you not need it? That's looking like four birdies here. So with that, India will maintain their one-stroke lead. Going up eight to seven. And on to 12 we go. When you're playing offline, in like or in like a friend lobby, you'll always be able to take the nice. shortcut with the wind. You can never get wind nice. that is not blue. So the color of the arrow. Which is interesting. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's just the way they intended it, but... All four players going to the island on the left here. And with pin at the near side, you would expect a three iron play with spin, but they're a bit far behind because of the wind, so you might actually have to go spoon. Which looks nice like shot. Clam is doing. And you. Yeah, so the issue is with the spoon is you don't get backspin, so. Nice song. As you can see, their balls just roll right past the flag because it's on the near side of the green. To be honest, I don't know if full power 3 iron would have been enough to clear the bunker with the wind as it was. But it's a nice eagle putt from Clam. Nice eagle putt from Rohan. We did see TYX on the, the fringe. We'll see if he's going to chip this, which he does. Ooh, and TYX lips out of the, the chip and eagle there. The Fig Bath makes this, which he does. So India's going to go up two strokes now after hole 12. And there it is, Rohan leading all players by two strokes on minus seven. The rest of the lobby's on minus five. We got six, seven, three, and 17. So to be honest, not like the easiest holes coming up. Um, if India can just play very consistently, nice they should be able to maintain a two-stroke lead. But we got six, we have 17, we could see pars. You never know what's going to happen. Two strokes with four somewhat difficult holes remaining. Anything could happen. So both Team Canada players in a very similar position. Our Rohan's opting for a longer chip. Honestly, both strategies are fine. I like to opt for where Rohan's going usually when I play this hole. 
but in this case, as you see, the big tree that's guarding the green it didn't affect the Canada players at all. So really nice approach from Brohan. Already from TYX. Clam is left with a bit of a long putt. He sinks that very nicely. I think that's three birdies. I didn't... Ooh, big bath. He's a bit far away. Yikes. So he missed his birdie chip, so... Assuming he sinks his par putt, the game will be back within one stroke. And yeah, you could do multiple strategies on this hole. The big thing you gotta watch out for is that big bushy tree guarding the green. Oh no, that is... a really, a really unfortunate lip. The downhill putts with a bit of a side hill are so hard to predict. You go too much power, it's a lip, but you go too little, your ball's just gonna roll like... Slant is gonna carry it way past, in this case, to the right of the hole, so... That bogey is gonna tie the game right back up. 12 to 12. What a match so far, geez. We've had eagles, we've had bogeys, we've had just about everything. Thankfully, we've had no out of bounds. If you watched uh, a lot, the other semifinal, USA Japan, there were some very heartbreaking out of bounds shots in that match. Nice shot. We have nice shot. Full seven here. Lamb's ball is. Suspiciously close to the out of bounds. Okay, that was very close. The play of going full power driver is actually an interesting one because it gives you a really, really close like approach for a chip. You can see they're only like 130 and 120 yards away. Most players like to stay on the fairway back and be about 200 yards away. But when you have like favorable wind, getting like as far as you can down closer to the green to make it a shorter chip. It's not a bad play. Nice Rohan's on the fringe here. Everybody else putting. It doesn't look like a difficult chip. The wind is pretty flat. And yeah, he sinks that chip without any difficulty. So probably not the approach he wanted, but he saved it with the chip. Game is still going to be tied with just two holes remaining. I did try to make a few improvements this video compared to the last semifinal I did. I asked for everyone's uh, input. I made the screens a little bit bigger. I will be adding the like score down on the bottom left after each game, which I did do last game. I think maybe some people were wanting a written score after every hole. I'm not too sure. If you have more improvement suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments. I did read everyone's suggestion from last video. Some of them weren't feasible, some of them I'm still working on, so we'll continue to improve this. Make sure the finals of the World Cup are a great viewing experience. But we are on hole three. We have zero wind. We have pin position. I'm expecting all eagles here, to be honest. Uh, it's just flat aim. Like, dead, dead aim. If you just get the power right, you'll get the chip in eagle. There's TYX's chip in. There is Clam's chip in. Ooh, and Rohan just a tad bit too much power there. Bouncing once and uh, hitting the pin. That's unfortunate. And Big Bath coming seemingly inches away. That is huge. With one hole left, that is a two-stroke swing. Two eagles from Canada on hole three and two birdies from India. So really good shots from Canada. Rohan just a tad bit too much power. He was really close, and I didn't quite see big baths. He might have been in a different position on the fairway that made his ball go a bit right. I'm not too sure, but very, very unfortunate if you're an India fan because the game was tied. It was the second last hole. And they need something really big here. But it's 17. It's a very tricky par 3. We often see birdies. We often see pars. 
both India players having good enough approaches to putt. Looks like Clam going a bit right and getting the launch roll, so he is going to be off the green. Ooh, and Rohan didn't quite adjust enough for the topography there. Big back with the birdie. Rohan with the par, so if Canada's going to need like a bogey and a par. Okay, there's two lips. But if they sink these two par putts, they will win. Which they do. Wow. That was an intense match. Honestly, like, and Rohan was putting for birdie. He just, I guess, didn't give the green enough credit, but that was close. That was extremely close. That's going to put us 18-17. to 17, Canada going up 1-0 in the extra three series. Finish. Jeez, what a match. So again, this is best of three series, which means next leg, it's win or go home for India. The winner of this leg punches their ticket to the finals of the Switch Sports Golf World Cup to take on the USA team. The USA first team, I might add. There were three USA teams, and the third team, or the sorry, the first team consists of Royce, the top three player in the world, and and Dirtle, who has been absolutely tearing up the golf course this tournament. So. Whoever wins this has a very difficult task ahead of them in the finals, but let's jump into the second leg. I will see you guys there. But here we go, leg number two. Winner go home for India. Canada win this, they will go to the final. Starting on 13, pin at the near side, probably gonna need backspin this time, because if you clear the bunker and even you land like inches after the bunker, your ball is still gonna roll past the hole. Now on the flip side of that, if you get too aggressive backspin, you might spin too far back onto the fringe, but still, full power on the 7-iron with backspin is very safe on hole 13. Nice shot. Nice shot. It'll put you on the near side of the green pretty much every time. Ooh, that is a hole-in-one lip from nice Rohan, nice letting us know his thoughts via emote. Wow, and that was a sketchy putt from Clam. Ooh, and I just... Oh, I missed that, but... Big Bap, seemingly, I'm guessing, he spun back onto the fringe, which is what I was talking about. Unfortunately, don't have his POV, but... Seems like he... Lipped that putt. And, uh... A bit of a tough start for India. But it's only one stroke we saw... They were down one stroke early on last game. Did make a comeback before Canada made a comeback of their own. So it's only hole one, game is by no means over. We have 14 with zero wind. You could go through the trees, you could also go around. Looks like we'll get both POVs here. Personally, I like to go around, which what Clam is doing because you see Rohan, he is cruising very nicely through the trees, but you have to get precise power. If you get too little or too much, you're gonna clip the tree and you risk landing on the, uh, the rough. And if you go around where Clam is, you can see still a very clear shot onto the green, so... To each their own, you can go either way. Clam is getting... A very, very nice approach there. Perfect power. And Rohan also coming with very close to the hole on the... The chip there. So, two Canada Eagles have been sunk. One Indy Eagle has been sunk. And Big Bath is chipping from the fairway. Ooh, and he sinks that. Very nice. I wish we had his POV. I don't know how he ended up on the fairway, which way he took, but either way, he saved it with a really nice chip and eagle there. That kind of looked like it was a, a one-bounce dunk. So, four Eagles there. India still one stroke behind. It's six to five for Canada. On to 15. Coming up, we have two special holes. We have two, three, five. And 
17. Honestly, not the, uh... Nice shot. The prettiest set, 9 holes. I mean, 13, 14, they're fun. But, uh... And I guess two special holes, they're uh, fun as well, but... We're not getting any, like, 12, 14, 16, 18 action, you know what I mean? Now, 15 here. 15's a tricky hole. Well, not really. It's tricky if you're new to the game. You do have to go more power than you think you do on this hole. Rohan is getting a very nice chip in the so wow. He put, like, the perfect amount of power on that. He played the green quite well. We will watch his replay here. I apologize, I just realized I had Clamp's audio muted this entire hole. Completely my bad, but a beautiful chip and eagle from Rohan. That should tie the game back up, I think. I think both Clam and TYX got birdies. I'm not sure, to be honest, I was watching Rohan's POV there for that chip. Yeah, it's going to tie the game back up, so... Once again, Rohan MVPing the lobby so far. Tying the game back up, minus 8 to minus 8. So first of two special holes here. This is this could be a turning point in the game, it, it could not. In the USA-Japan game, the other semi-final, nice there were multiple special holes where there would, or there were like two-stroke nice swings where one team would get two pars, the other team would get two birdies, or there was even one time where there's an eagle and a birdie from one team and two pars from the other. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't watched it yet. It is a very, very intense match, but all I'm saying is we could see some swings here on the special hole. Or if all players play very nicely, it'll just continue to be tied. We will see. Now, backspin, probably what you want on, on this hole. Both players doing that. Nice approach. Both players exactly seven feet away. That's kind of funny. Hopefully no micro putts here. Okay, one putts on and two. Nice. nice, birdie. nice birdie. You really hate to see micro putts. And big bath with the birdie as well. So I think we're going to be still tied. Although now at 10-10. On to hole two here. We really could see a variety of plays. We could see seven iron, five, we could see spoons. Nice. Run is going seven iron, which is probably the most common play on, on hole hole two. He's getting a very nice amount of power, just a bit to the right. Nice. Which is about three and a half power. If you go Spoon, you want, like, two dots-ish. Let me see Clam going five. Nice nice Ooh, so he didn't quite have enough power on that in Big Bath coming just a bit to the right. If you're just starting out in this game, or even you've played for a while, but you're looking for ways to improve, one of the best ways that you can improve is just memorize all of the par 3s. So for hole 2, if you go with, this is a zero wind conditions, if you go about 7.5, or, that's funny, about 3.5 dots on the 7 iron, you'll land on the green every time. Hole 4, if you go full power 5 iron with backspin, you'll land on the green every time. So memorize what clubs to use on what par 3s. That'll really improve your game. Nice now, moving on nice to hole 3. I don't see any wind that's going to allow the players to drive onto the green from stroke 2. Now, actually, last game we had hole 3. We saw two eagles from Canada and two birdies from India. Not that that is indicative of how this hole will go in any way, but just interesting to remember. All players driving into the bunker. 
Nice shot. Honestly, it's you can go a little bit under power and land just on the fairway, like 10 yards before the, the bunker. It's what I personally like to do, but it really doesn't matter. The green is so close anyway. Now, wind is going to push them to the left. Green will be pushing them a bit to the right. Wow, two high X with another eagle in hole three. Very well done. Rohan's chip to me extremely close, just spinning away. And that'll that'll be three very nice approaches, three birdies from the rest of the players. So with that eagle from TYX, they will Canada will jump out to a one stroke lead. Minus 15 to minus 14 with three holes remaining. 5, 17, 20. So the last two holes, 17, 20. Again, 17, a difficult par 3, and 20, a special hole, par 4, so. Nice the game is by no means over, it's only a one-stroke lead, and we could see, we could see anything happen on uh, 17 and 20. Even on 5 here, we could see anything happen. Nice Eagles, pars, you never know. I didn't get a look at the pin position before the hole started, but it looks like it's... Okay, it is. It's front right. Chance for chip in. They, the players are downhill a little bit, so you got to go a bit more power than you think. I don't like Rohan's angle. It's tricky to read the wind from that angle on this hole. But he is currently the best player in the tournament, so he's probably not worried. Clam is chipping from rough. He is a little bit left... Seemingly all players are a little bit left. Nice, nice. Ooh, big bath a little bit left as well. Tricky. Tricky pin position with wind. But four birdies. That'll be, what, 17 to 16, I believe? Two holes remaining, one stroke lead. Remember, this is winner go home for India. Canada's up 1-0 in the best of three series. We have hole 17 again. Okay, this is actually not difficult. Pin position and uh, wind. Nice shot. Nice shot. With pin on the left. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know how... I guess, so you saw Rohan got full power driver, and with pin on the left, you can full power driver, generally safe. I like to go a tad bit under, just to prevent any the possibility of a launch roll, but you saw there, Rohan went full power driver, he made it, like, pretty well in line with the hole. Somehow, TYX rolled, like, way past, even though Rohan got the max possible power, and he didn't go that far, so... I'm assuming that's the launch roll glitch. We don't have TYX POV. But he saved it very nicely with a, a chip and birdie there. Hole 17, it's not only is it, is it a tricky par 3, it's also, I'm pretty sure it's glitched, the green, but... In any case, it was four birdies. With one hole remaining, Canada's up one stroke. It's a special hole. Anything can happen here. 19 to 18 for Canada. So Rohan with the worst T position. Ooh, and actually Big Baff with the second worst T position, so. Nice shot. India kind of screwed by T position, but I don't really think it's gonna affect anything because it's not nice like harsh shot. wind or anything. You can still you just have to be very precise with your adjustments, and as you can see, Rohan making it past the cliff onto the fairway, no problem. So T positions didn't really matter there. As long as you know where to adjust, which would just come with experience on this hole. But uh this is tricky. Do you want backspin or not? Because the pin's at the far side of the green. You need enough power to get the height to clear the nice bushy tree. But not enough power that you roll past. There's a really nice approach from Clam. He rolls nice just a 10 feet past the hole. Nice you saw two wags the ball spin. Okay, nice approach from... Rohan, that was a... 
Sketchy putt from Clan, but that is two birdies. So on special hole 21, two birdies from uh, Canada. Oh, and seemingly a macro putt from Rohan. And that's going to be it. Even if Big Bath makes the chip in Eagle, India can't win because of that uh, par from Rohan. So it, I would assume it was a macro putt where he probably just over adjusted for the micro putt, which is an unfortunate glitch, but it is what it is. It's tough to see, but it also happens to everyone. It very well could have happened to someone on the Canada team, so. Best to just move on from micro and macro putts. It sucks, but it's a part of the game. There's nothing we can do at this point. Nice birdie putt from Big Bath, but that is going to be it. That's going to be minus 21 to minus 19 for Canada. Who's going to defeat India 2-0 in the semifinals. Punch their ticket to the finals. There is no third place or fourth place match. There's no prize money for third or fourth. There is prize money for first, however, and second, actually. There is a $325 prize pool for this tournament split between first and second. There you have it. That is the second semifinal. Canada, one seed, takes down India, four seed. Again, if you have any suggestions on how to make this type of video better, let me know in the comments. I will read all of them. Input what I can uh, for the finals. If it's feasible, I will do it. If not, I will keep it in mind for future tournaments. If you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button, and I will see everybody in the next video.